Shalom, give all praise to Yahweh, Bashim Yosha, Bashim Rakakadash. Call Yam Yah, Bashim Yosha, Bashim Rakakadash. Give all praise again to Yahweh, Bashim Yosha, Bashim Rakakadash. I'm going to go to uh, read Matthews 5 8 through 16. Beatitudes. Beatitudes means happy and blessed. And there's also proverbial sayings relating to um, happy and blessed. Proverbial sayings type. Beatitudes. That's in chapter. Um, Matthews 5. I'm going to read a few of them. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see Yahweh. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of Yahweh, the prophets. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness, sake, and for them, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. And that's the prophets as well. Blessed are are ye when men shall revile you, persecute you, and shall say all manner of evil against you, falsely for my name, for my sake. And that's the prophets, man, and the ones who st specifically st the elect sticking up for the um, uh, the gospel, man. They sticking up for the gospel, and realistically, it's, it's the gospel they hate more than the ones who are who are defending it, man. Because the gospel com comes contrary to the ways of the world. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad. For great is your reward in heaven. For, for so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. So they persecuted the prophets, man. And the prophets, each of their lots and kingdoms that they were they were they were persecuted and fast forward regeneration bringing back forth they, the prophets are back in their lot today prophesizing many are going to be persecuted many are going to be condemned many are going to be falsely accused many are going to be um, a variety of things trials and tribulations but it's all for the sake of the gospel man because like I said the ways of this world is contrary to this, um, to the scriptures and the gospel, man. So ones who are coming in that vibration of the gospel, they're going to be persecuted. For ye are the salt of the earth, but it, if the salt have lost its savor, wherewith shall it be salted? And thenceforth, good is good for nothing, but to, ca to be cast out and to be trodden under the foot of men. Ye are the light of the world, a city that is set on on the hill cannot be hid. Man. This truth is like the light, man, so it can't be hidden, man. You know what I mean? So it's going to be made manifest, man. So it's, that's like the beacon, that light, man. It's, it's, it's manifesting and is uh, pretty much manifesting uh, its light upon um, the things that were dark and hidden, man, relating to the, um, the deceit, the lies, and etc. Um, Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candle and giveth light unto all that are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that light is the spirit that they may see your good works and glorify your father which is in heaven man. this relates to beatitudes man beatitudes are proverbial sayings which means happy and blessed you know they're proverbial sayings And this was the sermon on um, on the mount relating to Yahweh Shah, talking about beatitudes. I'm going to go to um, Because the ones who are the poor and afflicted, the ones who are going through, are ultimately going to um, 
receive the, the glory, man. They had to go through that straight rate, that straight road, and that's the road of difficulty, man. So their reward and their treasures are are pretty much the, um, the next kingdom, man. You know what I mean? But they had to go through many, um, many difficult, uh, go through a difficult road. Let's get Luke 6.24. I wanted to switch it up a little bit, talk about a little bit about um, 6.24. Talk about pretty much your consolation relating to riches. Um, but woe unto you that are rich. For ye have received your consolation. That's the ones of the world, man. Celebrities, ones who, you know, gain favor, gain fate, uh, gain, um, gain riches of this world, man. You know what I mean? The ones who sold out, you know, celebrities, we use them example. So they, their consolation is um, um, on this side, man. Go to Matthew 6.24. Back to Matthews again. Matthew 6.24. Red letter. No man can serve two masters, for either he will hate one and love the other, or else he will hold to one and despise the other. He cannot serve God and manna. Manna relates to the material things. You can't, you can't eat at the Lord's table and the enemy's table either, man, relating to the scripture. So you have to make your choice, man. You know what I mean? Let's go to um, and a lot of, for example, celebrities, you know, they, um, they sold out as far as, you know, choosing the ways of the world, man. The man and the material things, the riches, the fame. So they, they have their consolation for the most part on this side, man. Go to Timothy um, 6 and 9. First of Timothy 6 and 9. Because we talk about money and stuff. Uh, money is... Um, Verse of Timothy 6 and uh, really 9, but I'll go up a little bit. But godliness with contentment is great gain. Being content. For we brought nothing into this world, and it's certain we cannot keep. We can carry nothing out. So you came in empty, you're going to leave that way. And all the things you accumulated, for example, the riches and all the things you accumulated in this life, in this kingdom, it's going to be destroyed anyway. You know I mean? You're not going to be able to bring it. Um, well, we brought nothing into this world, and it's certain we cannot carry nothing out. And having food and raiment, let us there, there with. Let us be there with content. So be, be content with your the basic necessities: food, water, the basics. That pretty much all you need, man. Number uh, eight, number nine. But they, but they that will be, be rich, fall into temptation, and they snare. Sometimes the riches, the money, are that. You're tempted by those things, and ultimately they can lead you to a, be a snare, a trap to you, man. You know, unless you have the right attitude and disposition. Uh, relating to Ecclesiastes, talk about the right uh, attitude, right spirit to deal with riches, and have uh, relating to the responsible use of it, and um, um, 
as far as the, having that balance and how and know how to use it responsibly for money is what it is is that tool man as i said over it's just a tool that's used for its purpose man i'm gonna read, I'm gonna read nine again but they that will be rich fall into temptation and it's there and into many foolish hurts foolish and hurtful lust which drown men in destruction and perdition perdition is destruction Money sometimes has led people to their ultimately their downfall, man. Even their demise, man. Destructively. So the balance of it, money is just used for its purpose. And depending on the person, whether they have, you know, the common sense and um, the right spirit as far as responsibility. And um as far in management skills relating to money otherwise they will they will it will be a temptation to them it will be a snare to them and ultimately there it can lead them to their demise man for the love of money is is the root of all evil the love of money we all need money man for its purpose man we need money to survive we need money to do certain things especially in this society but the love of money, when it becomes where you have to have it or becomes um, where it's excessive as far as relating to your, uh, um, affecting your um, your behavior and different things and different aspects, then it becomes evil then. I'll read that again. But the love of money is the root of all evil, which while some coveted after, if it becomes covetous where you had to have it was excessive want, I gotta have, that means it's, it's evil, ultimately. And, that's, and it's problematic for that individual. They have erred from the faith, it's taken them off the course, relating spiritually, and even destructively carnally. carnally. It pierced them through with many sorrows. So, that love of money um, has been a sometimes a destructive tool for some people man sometimes money is not a good thing for everybody and having a lot of it you know what I mean it depends on the individual how responsible they are and um, and their disposition as far as how they deal with money you know what I mean for example like some some of the celebrities man you know on the top you know they have done things you know um, that uh, led to their demise, man. You know, chasing the bag, man. That's become that snare, man. Look what happened to Bill Cosby, man. You know, he ended up being in prison for things that he probably did. You know, because no one, Joe four and seven, uh, whoever perished being innocent, and where were the righteous cut off? So no man is innocent, man. You know what I mean? So these celebrities, they have their secrets, man. They do their things, man. Just like Bill Cosby, just like others, man. Many like. When you're enough, when you're in this high status as they are, you know they're they far from innocent, man. You know what I mean. But for, you know, for him, he was just used. He was used as an example to what what the powers to be can do, man. You know, what I mean, even somebody in the caliber as him, man. And many others like him that fail and sometimes they fail by the, that love of money man thinking they can't be touched thinking I'm on top of the world you know having that certain attitude and disposition so that money that money led them they had to be humbled and be and uh, and ultimately Lord humbled their humbled them to pretty much let them know that you really you're not all that like that man. you know what I mean I don't talk about celebrities specifically because we know they do certain things to get to the top, man. It's not by the merits of their talents like it should be. And um, so they have to do certain things, man, for the most part. So if you don't comply or do accordingly, there's consequences. And for Bill Cosby, there's a consequence, man. For example, he'd been used to go to jail, and um, he used... Um, he was used um, 
he didn't comply in the way they wanted to. He got too big for he felt that he got too big for his britches, man. So he had to be they humbled him down by letting him know that you're just another um, another tool, man. You know? So um, this is something short relating to that. Talk about really about the love of money. Give all praise to Yahweh Shemil Shabbat Shemakadash. So